no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm in Giants Editor on a map. This is my new work in progress map uh, for FS17. Um, I just noticed something that is going to bug the crap out of me if I don't fix it right now. A couple of spots of grass. There we go. Um... This is called Nodak Farms, uh, basically meaning North Dakota Farms. I know, probably not very original, but I don't care. Um, I've This is actually my second attempt at this map. I had uh, gotten a bunch of stuff done once already. I had a big highway running along there and one coming down, going across over here. But I was messing with some map files and... Everything happened to be corrupt, and I hadn't backed anything up yet because I didn't do very much. But I am on a fresh start doing things a little bit differently, and I'm actually liking the way that this is turning out much better. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the stuff that I've done here. Uh, you guys can already kind of see some of it. And then we're going to work uh, on something. I haven't decided exactly what I want to work on next yet, but we'll work on something. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm working on the town right now. Uh, in town are the, is the only place that there's going to actually be road pieces. Everything else is going to be like uh, either uh, a concrete road or a gravel road. Uh, I am going to change the gravel texture eventually. Or it might even be a dirt road, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, I haven't changed any of the textures yet. I'm going to do that later on. But uh, this is what I've got so far. So here we got the elevator. Um, I am going to get rid of that label there and put on a different one uh, for the type of elevator that I want. We've got two scales here. This is for on the drive in and this is for on the drive out. Uh, I am going to have lots of road signs and all that stuff. Those are just going to come later on. So there will be a sign here pointing you know, forward for in and that way for out. With like a do not enter over here or something like that. Uh, we got the crossing over the tracks. I might have to fine tune that later on. I don't know. I just put something simple there for now. Uh, in fact I can tell that I'm going to have to fine tune it. Bring it up a little more. But you know this is still. I mean this is just the beginning of the map. So lots of testing and lots of adjustments to go into it yet. Here we got the uh, trains. We've got one on the main line with a bunch of grain cars uh, you know they could be getting loaded or whatever uh, I'm actually going to uh, I'm not gonna open that because it actually does not open quite the right way but I'm not gonna like flip everything around or anything um, got a BNSF orange train engine 9136 there with a bunch of grain cars and then on the little sideline we've got two uh, green BNSF trains, uh, or these are actually the Burlington Northern engines. Uh, this is before BNSF. Uh, engine numbers 2601. Uh, they're both the same. And we got a few more grain cars uh, in the storage there. And we got just a bunch of kind of overgrown, taller grass uh, around everything. And then here we get on to the main road again. Or you can go over here and kind of go on a little bit of a dirt road. Um, kind of going for the small town effect. And a lot of small towns, especially in this area at least, have a lot of spots. Uh, at least some of the ones that I've lived in. You know, got some spots where it kind of comes into a gravel road or a dirt road or something like that. Uh, I want to fix this a little bit right here as well. All right, there we go. Anyway, so you go onto the concrete road and then back onto the main roadway here. Got a Case IH dealer. Um, so far, I've just gotten the dealership and then this fence in. Uh, I'm going to put a bunch of equipment around the very outside edge of this. And uh, this stuff will ha everything will have doors on it. 
you know, um, this will just be like a big or like a small kind of garage door type thing. Um, and then we'll have walkthrough doors and big overhead doors and all that stuff. Uh, those will get added further down the line. Um, but I will be adding stuff like that. Uh, I think I've seen a map where it's got like a gate here that opens. I'm going to find that or find something similar and throw that up on uh, these here. And then we've got the roadway. Uh, and then we got a river here. Uh, I'll work on that at some point. Um, I'm probably going to finish the town first, but I have, I've done the river once already, but like I said, I'm starting fresh, so I'll work on that later, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in the town area, so the houses are going to go in this little area on this part. Uh, over here, I need to put a sail barn and a um, crop production services. I think those are the only things that I really need yet, uh, or that are going to go in that area. And then over here, I'm going to put a um, sugar beet piling facility. Um, I did take, I did do a DEM real terrain for this map. Uh, it is, for the most part, kind of flat because of the area that I took it from. Uh, it would be just around, just outside of the Beulah, North Dakota area that I took the DEM from. Just picked a random place in Google Earth, someplace in North Dakota, and took the DEM. And it just so happens that uh, this area is a little bit flatter than uh, some areas. Some parts of North Dakota are really hilly and some parts are so flat you can see your dog run for days um at least that's the saying at times uh, i've heard that saying a couple of times before but anyway without further ado we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get some house objects so we're gonna go here um To my hard drive let's see if I can find the map that I'm looking for ha. we're gonna go to Red River Valley and we're gonna take a few objects off of there um. <laughs> wait for that and while that opens we'll also open I need to find a map that I know has like some trailer houses on it because I want to use some of those. Hmm. Let's see, Lincoln Creek maybe might have some. I need to close some folders so I don't get lost. Lincoln Creek. Let's see if there's some trailer houses on here. Because I'd like to find a trailer house uh, to put in town uh, to have a few of. And I'll have like a couple of them, like a couple folders of them. Uh, just to, so that way I can kind of have some color differences, I guess. Some different colored ones. Uh, and we got Red River Valley open here now. So let's go ahead and go to the town and see if we can't find some houses. So I don't mean I don't need very many, um, because like I said, I'm going for the small town feel, and um. We don't really always have very many houses. 
So I'm going to get... Ten places total. So I'm going to have six different houses. Actually, make that seven. Seven different houses. And then um, I'll have three different trailer house, house things. Uh, so if we go to the desktop, this will be house one. This will be house two. This will be house three. That'll be house four. will be number five. So we just need to find two more. So I think I'll go with this one. Probably these two here. And I don't want to save that to the house six folder. I want it in house seven. Okay, so that'll be all on that one. Has this map opened yet? Yes, it has. Okay, it's about time. See if I can find like a trailer house or something. I know there was one on Modern American Farming map, but I do not have my FS13 Giants editor anymore. So that's kind of pointless for me to use or like it's is no point in me downloading um, MAFM when I really don't even have a use for it and actually now that I think about it if I go to my downloads MAFM Ha! Huh. I do have it from 15 yet. Because uh, I just thought of it that... Um, it was released, converted and released for 15. So, so we'll put trailer 1, trailer 2... Oops. And trailer three. I don't know why exactly my folders are creating so weirdly, but I guess they are. Okay, so we'll get this opened on up. So the way that I'm going to do the videos on this map are I will have videos out every other day of it uh, and just whatever I'm working on and updating on what I did the previous day. Uh, and these I'm actually not going to do a set time limit. I am going to... Oh, come on. I am going to kind of try and keep them a little bit shorter. You know, like I don't want to be recording forever. Um, wait, did I use the right Giants editor to open that? No, I didn't. That's why. That would be why. It helps to use the right Giants editor. You need to use the one for 15, not the one for 17. It'll work a whole lot better if I do it that way. When it's a 15 map. It would be wise. Look at that, it opens right up. Kind of. Yep, there we go. Works a whole lot better when you got the right one. OK, 
Okay, so I want this trailer house right here. So we're just going to export this into each individual folder. And then we can go in and edit the textures on each one. Because if I try to do it um, where I just did one folder of it and did multiple texture files and tried doing it that way, it would not work because it would just change all of them. Now, which one is for... Is it frame? Let's try that once. Oh, wait, no, it's that Dutch lap siding. I am pretty sure that's what it is. Let's just open this up once. I can throw that away. And we'll just get this put to the center. Yeah, it would be that siding. So, to Google we go to find some siding textures. Um, let's see. So let's just find some different colors. And let's kind of play around with stuff and see what looks the nicest. So I think this is going to be one of them. So if we copy the image... We can go here and paste the image, and then we will drag it so it fits. And we will just, whoops, wrong one. Okay, close some of this stuff. We will save it, and we will take a look at it. So I'm thinking maybe doing like maybe a blue or something like that on the next one. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So if we do like a red siding on this one, we can do maybe like a blue on the next one. Let's see what we can find here for maybe a blue. Uh, I don't know if I really like that one. That's kind of a neat siding there. Hmm, I don't really like that. That would be nice if it was an actual picture. If it was, like, nicer. Ooh. Here's some nice blues. I kind of like that one, but it's got the words on it, and that's not good. Ooh, I really like this. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this one and just kind of see what it looks like. See if it's uh, any good. There we go. Huh. It's like two different tones. It's kind of weird. But I, I... I really don't like that one anyways. I just don't like the look of that. How that came out. This one though might be a little better. Maybe not. Okay, I need to sign out of Steam. Otherwise it'll drive me nuts. Hmm, I want to find a nice blue. 
Maybe there's something up at the top here. Vertical. Okay, so we got red. Uh, let's just look up blue siding texture. I like this one. Blue siding texture. Let's try this one once. Keep the canvas size. We'll adjust it to fit. All right. We'll save it. We'll go here. Reload textures. Ooh. Okay. That one I like. That I really, really like. So there we go. There's my process for doing that. Um, okay. Now, let's see if we can close that. Models, town. So we're going to go make a folder of houses just to kind of make it so there's not so many folders spread out all over in there. Now it's just going to copy them because it's on my, I have my map put over on my external hard drive right now. Uh, it just kind of, you know, it's that much less space over here on my uh, main hard drive. Although now I could move it over because I have freed up a whole lot of space uh, to where I've got over 100 gigs available now. So I could technically take care of that. But All right, so we're going to make a transform group. We're going to call it Houses Import, we're going to go Town, Houses, House 1. And I'm going to rename this House 1. Just to kind of keep everything organized. Yes, I do enjoy keeping stuff organized. Especially when it comes to working on a map, because if you just have everything like cluttered, spread out all over the place, it gets kind of annoying when working on it in Giants Editor here, because it takes forever to find where stuff is. So that's why I always like making um, transform groups for stuff and just kind of organizing things and making stuff just neat. And it makes it much less of a headache to uh, Why do I feel like I spelled that wrong? No? I don't know, it just seems kind of weird. It almost seems like I just spelt it completely wrong. But anyway, continuing on. Okay, so now we'll select all these, cut, paste, select house, cut, paste into town. Okay, so I'm going to put some houses, uh, I'm going to put a line of houses along each side of the road, and then maybe like a couple out this way, um, and then CPS will probably go in this area, and the livestock sale barn in uh, another part of the area, not exactly sure where exactly everything's gonna go but 
There we go. Okay, so the houses are going to go mostly along here. So I'm just going to move everything to the areas that I want them. And then I'll go in and um, adjust it all. So that one can go back a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is we have 10 things. So I'm probably going to put like four houses and a trailer on one side and then three houses and two trailers on the other side. Okay, so we got four houses, so we'll put a couple of trailers in now. And town's not going to be very big, nothing... It's definitely not going to be anything special either. Um, I mean, I really don't... I mean, to me, the town, it just doesn't really make... I don't know, it just doesn't really matter that much to me. Because you don't really spend a whole lot of your time in the town. Your time's usually spent more, you know, at the farm and stuff like that. The town's just... Basically, when you got to sell your grain and buy your cattle and stuff. And I just add basically the necessities of it. And I just leave it at that. Okay, so I can spread these out a little bit more on this side here. All I got to put yet here is a trailer. And we're going to spin that around. Okay, so we got everything put in here now. So now comes the fun of getting them all put in here the right way. Making sure that the ground is level all around it. And when it's not, making sure that I adjust that. And what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to drop it down until that's just like that. And I'm going to set this to replace. Okay, so now we want to do concrete, oops, and I want this to be square, okay, now we'll change it to round, and we'll go rough dirt, put a little bit of dirt in here, a little bit of a dirt walkway. Okay, and that's that house done. Uh, I am going to add the grass and stuff, I just am going to wait to do that until... Yeah, I don't like that town grass stuff. I'll stick to what I got here. Oh, 
Okay. So now we'll also do the same here with the terrain. This time we're bringing things up to the house instead of going down. Smooth everything out a little bit. Kind of give them a parking pad right there. I'm actually going to make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now for the next one. So I will add like fences to the yards and stuff as well and like some trees and whatnot. I probably won't do that on a video or anything. I'll just kind of do that. Um, another time. This one might actually be, oh, no, not quite. <clears throat> okay, I will be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. So, we'll get us a measurement there. Go all the way around the house with it. A little thing there and a little thing there perfect Smooth all this out. <clears throat> and then we'll do a little path here. And then one over here as well. So kind of like some extra parking area. For them. Okay. Now we got this one yet. 
So I'm just going to do the houses in this video and then I'll get all the stuff together to do like CPS and the sale barn and then uh, we'll do that in the next video. Uh, these videos are going to be uploaded every other day and they're going to be in addition to the UMRV series. Uh, these aren't going to be replacing anything or anything like that. So um, there will just be two videos out every other day and um, yeah so <clears throat> all right and there we go so that's that side done so now we'll jump over here and do this side So I'll probably add like some vehicles and stuff to it later too, but um, you know, that'll be a little bit later. I'll do that when I work on adding all the vehicles for uh, the dealership and stuff. So I'm just going to go through and just set all these and then I'll go ahead and make all of my entrances and all that, all the driveways and whatever. I'll just get them all set first. Okay, now we'll go through and put in our little entrance areas here. This one's going to be kind of interesting here. This one's got a lot of area that needs to be put into concrete here. I think we got it here. Let's find which house this is. And attributes. We're going to just turn off visibility here once. All right. 
Oops. That's what I wanted to do there. Okay, and then this one is going to come from over here. Okay, and now for the last one here, uh, I'm going to do this one like this, I think. All right, so now all that we need to do is add some grass around them, but I will do that later. I still need to fine tune this road because as you can see, there's um, there's still a few spots where the terrain has to come up a little bit to meet the road or maybe even go down, who knows. But I just need to go along it. Uh, it's like this part here and this part that I need to just kind of play with a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that road. I'm going to get this grass added in and I will come back or when I come back we'll add CPS and the livestock sale barn. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.